Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Impact Photo. I'm your host Dustin Meyer and today is a little different. I decided to go ahead and do a, another tutorial about a guy, uh, yours truly. Um, <laughs> it's a little embarrassing for me to actually work on one uh, picture of just myself, but at the same time I figured that, hey, you know, um, I'm pretty picky about the way I look and I'm sure a lot of you out there are too. So, um, why not go ahead and you know do a picture of me so anyways let's jump right into it so i've already imported uh, my picture into uh, from lightroom into uh, portrait pro and we're working on version 15. Uh, we're going to click new face mail and let's see we're going to use the uh, command button here and tip of the nose yes i have a big nose and I got some crazy eyebrows here. You guys are going to hear a lot of self-criticism <laughs> during this, uh, this video here. But at the same time, I figured, you know, if I'm this picky about the way I look, then, you know, maybe I'll spend, uh, you know, go into a little more depth about, you know, what I'm doing, all that good stuff. So anyways, uh, we're going to click and then hit space bar. And then we're going to go over here and do the same thing we always do, which is move the uh, the eye outlines to right where the white of the eyes are located. And uh, as you guys have probably noticed, my eyes are the Norwegian kind of, uh, at least I like to think, you know, Norwegian sort of uh, Viking eyes because, uh, you know, as uh, crazy as we were going out into the ocean and trying to find new lands to conquer the it was so really cold outside on the ocean, so we had to keep it. Anyways, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> okay, so uh, space bar again, mouth open. And let's see, we're going to bring that right down between the uh, two front teeth. And let's bring that down a little and a little bit more. And the next one, um, obviously, I'm going to be really picky about the jawline. So uh, plus, like we did in the last video, with facial hair, it's a little tricky, but um, you know, just making sure that we get all of that correct will make sure that if I decide to do a little face contouring, which you know I think I probably am going to do just for demonstration purposes and also because I probably want it, you know. <laughs> then, um, but like I said before, with facial outlines for men with facial hair, uh, sometimes you got to help the software along. But, um, and just in case you techies out there are wondering, uh, this image was caught at, I believe, uh, F8 or F9. So we got a really sharp image. I didn't have to add any sharpening to Lightroom upon export because the lens was nice tack sharp. It's a 24 to 70 F2.8 uh, Nikon. So we're gonna hit space bar. Everything looks good. So we're not wasting too much time getting super picky. All right, so. Right off the bat, we're gonna click mail standard, which it already defaults to, which is convenient. Um, we got some of the facial shine here removed. Uh, eyes are a little bit brighter. Uh, we still have a little bit of shine here, but we'll correct for that. Uh, teeth are definitely whiter. As you can tell, I probably uh, drink way too much coffee. So I'm gonna to go to fit as usual because I always like to see how everything looks and affects the image overall. We're gonna to go to uh, face sculpt and I'm gonna go ahead and just slim down those chipmunk cheeks just a little. And we're gonna see what uh, lens correct can do. And yes, that's great. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's see eyes, I'm gonna open just a little. And let's go to eye widening. There we go, as usual. The eyes are the windows to the soul, and uh, we want to make them make sure that you know they make a connection with the viewer. Don't need plump lips. Uh, let's see what it does to my nose. That's the normal one. Jeez, that's really. And let's see, that's a little bit smaller. It as you notice too, as you adjust the nose, it helps the smile stand out more. So and also it's less of a distraction. So, anyways, just for the purpose of. Uh, not for the sake of rhinoplasty, but to you know, just kind of demonstrate what it can do. I'm gonna put it up right about here. Uh, neckline, I'm not so much worried about because um, my coat is kind of covering all of this over here. 
Uh, lens correct, again, uh, my face, my forehead's big enough as it is, so I don't need to make my face smaller. And then for head forward, what you see is it, again, smooths out or slenderizes the neck, but I don't think we really need that. Um, you know, for guys, having a, a nice manly neck uh, is not a bad thing. However, you know, at the same time, you don't want it looking like there's no jawline. So now we're going to go to skin smoothing. Imperfections, I got a lot of laugh lines and stuff, as you probably have guessed. Um, I don't really take good care of my skin when I go outside, so I've got the laugh lines and stuff. Um, we're going to go up with imperfections. I'm going to smooth out the lines here a little bit and just... To get an idea close up what imperfections will do, notice all the redness and some of the sunspots and stuff and blemishes. We're going to take some of that out. Not too much because I do have some freckles and my mom loves them. So uh, I don't want to get rid of all that. But if I were to go extreme with it, the face becomes really, really smooth. But again, working on a male, we want to keep it this way. Thin wrinkles. Man, I look like I'm 18 again. Anyways, so we're going to leave that alone. Fine shadows, not so much. Uh, a little too much glow. So if you notice that your pictures are coming out a little too soft, mess with the, the fine shadow slider and that should help. Remove shine. Okay, let's see what you got here. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Sorry, my Apple Watch is going off like crazy. But anyways, so um, I still want to leave a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to probably bring it down to about, oh, somewhere around 90 or so. That way it's not too drastic. Trim eyebrows. Let's see what that does. Uh, not so much. And then with texture, I'm going to bring it up a little bit because I still want the uh, pores and the texture of the skin to be kind of nice and uh, nice and strong. Um, you know, for guys out there and everything, that is an important factor. It uh, makes us look a little more grizzly or... Uh, skin texture type, we're going to go with uh, medium because I'm not a baby anymore. And spot removal, let's just check and see what we got here. So we've got a little bit over here, some over here. Uh, these aren't freckles, they are sunspots. Um, and then let's see, and a little bit on the nose. So let's try uh, medium sensitivity and see what happens. And that helps a little bit. Let's try a little bit higher. Say medium. Okay, that kind of helped some of the shine, actually. Let's see what maximum does. A little too much. So uh, we're going to go back to uh, level four because that way we don't get too much uh, pixelation uh, in the places where um, it tries to fix the spots, remove the spots. So for skin lighting, let's just see what we get here. I'm going to bring this over here and that lights up my head forehead too much uh, but if uh, you didn't quite like the way that your lighting turned out you can use this guy over here now I do notice sometimes that the uh, skin lighting controls can tend to soften the look so um, but for now uh, I spent a little time making sure that my light I'm using a, uh, a five foot octagon and uh, so we're just gonna turn that off and Let's see here. Makeup controls, not too worried about it, so we'll turn that off. Eye controls, let's see. Definitely want to make the eyes stand out a little bit more. There we go. Again, I have tiny eyes. Mouth and nose. Okay, so let's go into the face, and let's take a look at the teeth. I am so embarrassed. My dentist is going to hate me, but hey, you know what? For the purpose of uh, education... <laughs> We're going to go ahead and whiten the teeth a little bit more, just using the master fade. Again, don't go too grizzly with it because otherwise, it, as you can see right here, it's a little too much. So we're going to, we're at 39. We're going to bring it down to about 35, maybe 32. Again, I'm just kind of previewing it and see what we get here. Yeah, I think 32 works. So we'll close that. Hair controls. Most guys don't really need that, but, you know, again, just for demonstration, uh, we'll go ahead and click on view, edit hair area. And we'll just paint that on there. This is kind of a smart brush, <clears throat> excuse me, a smart brush. So it automatically will um, kind of match the tone of the hair as I paint over it. So as long as the small dot inside the brush is over the color of the hair that I want to do the smoothing on, then it'll grab everything else that's the same color inside the outer circle. So we'll click OK. 
And now we're going to go to hair tidying mode. Again, so I, I can't talk enough about how awesome this tool is. Uh, if you have like frizzy hair or, you know, just hair that you want to uh, just correct for, let me bring this down a little bit. So we're going to go to smooth hair. Look at that. Nice and luxurious. <laughs> okay, I'll stop talking about my hair. Um, so that adds a little bit more, uh, as you can see, just kind of fine uh, feathering to the hair. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit and that looks good. So click OK, let that process. All right, close that out. Uh, skin coloring, let's just take a look. We're going to zoom out real quick. Skin coloring looks a little good. Uh, I might want to be a little more tan. So let's see here. That's if you want to go more pale. There we go, more tan. Just keep an eye on the redness of the skin to make sure that it's not coming back. But as you can see, the areas where I did the fill uh, or the remove shine, it brought some color back into those areas too. So that definitely helps. And then last but not least, we're gonna go in and see any other spots that need to be removed that we didn't quite get rid of using the sliders. So uh, using the bracket tools, I'm gonna change the shape of my brush and we're gonna click there. And then uh, we're gonna bring the strength down just a little bit. And depending on the area that needs to be uh, fixed, you can always go back to uh, skin smoothing and change the texture if you feel like it's, um, oops, wrong one, that was a spot removal. Uh, we're gonna go to fine. There we go. And that'll kind of help along the, uh, the areas that you know you tried to fix with the spot removal. And so let's see, so we got this guy over here. Good. And we're gonna get this little one on the nose. And there we go. So I usually tend to bring the strength down quite a bit just so I don't overdo it. Uh, let's get that little one on the tip of my nose. There we go. Not bad. And then other than that, let's get this one over here. And that pretty much does it. So um, last but not least, I'm gonna bring uh, the sensitivity down to about two, just to make sure. Okay, not, maybe we'll go with three. Mm, let's go with two. Okay, so looking pretty nice and realistic. Um, I actually like the way I look a lot better. Um, and again, if it feels like it's a little too soft, uh, you can always just zoom in or do, um, zoom into the face and just make sure that it's not too soft so it doesn't look too glowy uh with guys you really don't want to do that too much and I, like i said i'm gonna try and stay away from being too too crazy about it but other than that i think i think my wife will like it okay so uh this wraps up our latest episode of impact photo i'm your host dustin meyer uh, we have a stream of these videos coming out. Uh, on average right now, it's about once a week or so, maybe once every two weeks. Uh, this is uh, working in version uh, 15 of Portrait Pro. And um, you can always uh, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with our latest videos. Uh, please leave a like if you learned something. And also, if you have any questions or if you have any requests, uh, put them down in the comments below and I'll be happy to see what you guys put down there. So. Thanks again for watching. I'm Dustin Meyer, and we'll talk to you next time. Uh, also, uh, hair controls. Again, as I've said before, this is one of my favorite things to mess around with in here because I just think it looks, I think they've done a really good job. Good, um, the shape of the nose. You're gonna make it smaller or longer. Uh, you can also do a board if you need to. So sometimes people get a little bit of double chin and then we're gonna do just a little bit of the face.